Happy Tuesday. Got some coffee here in Seattle. Um, wanted to do another episode of kind of tips and tricks. We've we've done one of these in the past, and I thought I would do another one. Um, we're going to look at Indiana Grand Race 8, which they ran a couple of turf stakes races last week. Um, this is on July 14th. I played an exacta here. I actually ended up playing heavier on the 7 over the 6. Um, but it came 6-7, and you'll see here. So I boxed them. Um, I actually ended up kind of liking the 6 at first and then kind of went to the 7 because of Scotty Longshot. The 6 from a pace perspective, and we'll walk through that. Um, but uh, it was a nice little cash. So I want to just kind of share how I use the tool in, in, in this case, in this race, like how I think the algorithms, when they come together, are really nice. So, you know, one of the first things I do is I always look at the race SOR. So 56 and then, you know, I'll sort by GSR and then I'll, I'll kind of look at um, the Scotty picks. And, and also one of the first things, like I'm just going to get rid of this two as a one percenter, the four is a one percenter, the one is a one percenter. Um, and then the, the, the 12, you know, I'll look at um, just real quick as a three percenter. Um, one uh, a 44 here um, on dirt now goes the turf so I'll look at GSR plus yeah you know I, I don't really love this horse the next thing I would do is is it's stepping up obviously is then look at the morning line and in this case you know seven to one over nine to two um, I would probably just toss so I've kind of narrowed down here and then I'll kind of sort by win percent and this is kind of where I start so First thing I'm gonna do is look at this five horse and say, okay, top Scotty, wh where is it? Nine oh, percent, so way down here, which I don't love, you know, top Scotty, but nine percent, morning line, okay, about the same. So, um, but then here, like, look at this GSR. I mean, the lowest of 42, dive in, look at this, um, and I'm gonna show my notes here. Um, and horse has never been on turf. And you have a 23 point drop in GSR. 23 points. Like I immediately look here. I'm like, this horse does not want turf. Yes, it's been racing against tougher. But, you know, I mean, one of 50 sprinting on dirt. Now it's going long on turf. And one again, I guess going long on dirt here in a 60. But I, I don't like to drop a GSR. This is one of the things when you use a GSR play, I completely play against this horse here. So immediately I do not like the five. Um, you know, let's look at the 10. Um, we'll go to Ms. and Ash. Look here, um, has been sprinting, or um, been on turf for the most part in routing. Um, you know, broke its maiden in a 42 after four tries and then did win here in a 52, but without diving in further, it did come from the 10 post. But um, my guess is maybe there's a little bit of pace here. And so I'm like, okay. So then I'm like, what's the pace look like? So 11 horse wide post. Um, and unlikely to show speed uh well she did show speed here didn't show a lot of speed here um don't don't love the post um let's look at the seven scotty long shot um unlikely to show much speed the 10 not showing speed the six horse so you know is 19 percent not in top scotty but when i looked here did show speed here on turf with a slow pace. Um, so that immediately tells me, you know, for the 10, are you going to have much of a pace? You know, that horse is going to need some pace right now. I don't see it from the 11, the seven. Um, let's look at the eight, uh, unlikely to show much speed. I mean, it's just breaking, you know, fifth, six broke second here, but at the first call was in fifth, not a lot of speed. Then I actually did have a little bit of speed, maybe, so this was a bit of, you know, I'm like, okay, it's been on turf one time. has not shown much speed on dirt, um, but, you know, did here in the slop. It's hard to know, but here you see on turf, didn't show much speed, broke fifth, broke third, was close to the front. But to me, immediately I didn't really like the 10 because I didn't see much of a pace setup. 
which then here I started really liking the six. And again, I think, as I mentioned, um, you know, I, I ended up liking the six first and kind of got off and went to the seven, but, um, uh, you know, I thought that the six could potentially wire and has a good post. Um, you'll see my note there. And then the seven in, in, from a morning line perspective, the six was five to one versus eight to one. This is, I use this always here. So when I start combining the algorithms, I don't like the five. And if anybody watched colonial downs yesterday, they had horses that had not been on the turf and been on, you know, the dirt, tried to convert to the turf and some stakes races. And there was a bunch of bombers. That's where you can use the GSR to your advantage. You know, um, I immediately didn't like the five. I like the six to wire. I love the morning line perspective here on the seven. We talk a lot about that on action hour and um, was down to five to one and you were getting 16 to one. And that probably skewed my viewpoint a little bit. I'm putting the seven on top and, you know, should have stuck to my guns and just played the pace of the six to wire. And, um, you'll know, you'll see the outcome here it came six, seven with just a great payday for a buck paid 80 to one. Um, which again, if you eliminate the five and 10, um, you immediately can kind of get to the seven as a long shot and the six from a, a pace perspective. Um, you know, when you look at the nine, I mean, it did run in a 54 in here and ran second. So, you know, for me, I was really hoping the six would, would just be able to wire. And when I looked down here, you know, the nine was close. I mean, I think you could argue that the nine could have hit the board. My perspective there was just that the seven being Scotty Longshot was really interesting to me. Um, one here at a 52 in allowance after breaking a maiden here in a 54 on dirt. Definitely was bred for the turf to some extent. They thought a lot um, of her to put her in a stakes race here. So I was taking the angle here, third off the layoff. Then this horse could really improve. Um, I didn't spend a lot of time. I bet this kind of late. I didn't look what happened here in this allowance race. But I did like that came back here and won a maiden or won an allowance first off the layoff on turf in a 52. Um, so... You know, I mean, yes, the nine could have run, but you know, for me, you know, 11 percenter, I like the morning line perspective. You know, if I'm going to choose between two 11 percenters, I'm going to take where Equine Edge has the horse at five to one versus 10 to one. You know, so again, my goal here was to just show you how I kind of put everything together from all the algorithms. Um, again, use that GSR when it's in the opposite direction. I just toss them. I don't even put them on the ticket and exact as and tries, or we'll toss them in a horizontal pet. You know, um, we didn't talk a lot about the eight, but probably not really necessary. Did run third though. I mean, trifecta paid massive here. So um, I hope that's helpful. You know, trying to keep these, you know, five to 10 minutes. This one ran about eight minutes. Just hope that it, it's helpful and for everybody. Um, and I didn't talk about the 11, sorry. And I think here my concern was the post. Um, out here you know it it did wire here on the dirt it had been running you know on the dirt a lot better it looks like a sprinter when you look at gsr plus um you know i think here i mean i guess this was a 46 and then a 52 didn't run good in a 52 is the favorite you know I, I this horse looks a little bit cheap to me um you know is my concern here i mean and i i think this horse may be more of a sprinter well not, not i guess not i mean it has sprouted but you know it was a tough race but for me i was going with a couple prices um again i thought the seven could improve with scotty long shot good morning line angles good gsr the six had that big pace wire perspective and really vulnerable horses in the five and ten even though the scotty picks so it was a pleasure all good morning happy tuesday hope you're all getting some coffee have a good week um saratoga del mar here excited i'll be in del mar with brady um august 6th to the 8th that's uh, whitney weekend in saratoga super excited anybody wants to join us it's a pleasure i'll always get a chance to share with you it's fun i will see you for action hour this week have a good week